So today we're going to do a flamingo. You can't do a summer series without the flamingos. It is, I really don't have a good picture of flamingo, but looking on the internet, you see a lot of uh, images. Uh, don't have to be real realistic. I do have some white paint. So we're basically going to use a little bit of the permanent rose and a little bit of the cadmium red and then some of the violet and maybe some of the blue. So I'm going to start out up at the top of his head and I'm going to use a smaller brush. So we're just going to use a, a rigor brush. So I'm going to wet his face, go around where his eye is, and I'm going to come in with a little bit of the pink and just go in here at the bottom and start that process of, of his head. Because he would be darker underneath, especially where the, the uh, turn is. We can take this brush and soften that just a little bit. And maybe we'll drop in a little bit of the red, the cadmium red, just for some variation. I don't I want a lot of water in my brush because it's not a very big space. So there he goes, a little bit of the red. Now I'm going to come in and wet that again, going down around his neck. Let's pick up some more of the hot pink. Let's make the back of his neck darker. So we're saying the light's probably coming from the left. I'll try to find a better photograph of him. Of a flamingo. I had some that I took out in San Diego their, their zoo is known for the for the flamingos. So let's just drop in a little bit of that orange there. Maybe a little more up there. And let's pick up a little stronger value down in here. Because I want him to be bright. So I need to wet up around his top of his back. Let's add a little bit of that violet in there, just to maybe give him a little bit of a shadow that would come in here. And you have to be careful because the violet won't mix too well with the um, with the the warmer red. So yeah, I'm gonna soften some of this back here with a brush because I don't want it to be very exacting and maybe we'll make that a little bit lighter. Let's add a little bit of the uh, ultramarine blue underneath here. So because he's going to give him some dimension. Let's pick up a little more of the I'm going to splatter a little bit. Oops, that one went right across his face. <laughs> so we can blot that. But I want him to have some soft edges. And maybe we'll soften that edge there. And maybe we'll soften some of this up here. Now, their legs are pretty bright. So I'm going to go in actually with the... Um, the pink, and then I'm going to add a little bit of violet in there, just to get a little bit of water. Come up here, maybe add a little bit of violet in there. This is a fun one to do. 
Let's splatter a little bit more pink over here, maybe. Maybe take some stronger. Remember, I said the stronger color you have, the less it runs. Okay, and let's add a little bit of violet in there someplace because it would be darker down here. Let's go back in with his leg or her leg. I always think of flamingos as female because they're so pretty in pink. Jealous. I'm gonna add a little bit of water in there. Of course I got my hand in it. So go ahead and go. The fun thing about doing these is I haven't pre-painted it, so it's all just the beginnings, which makes it kind of fun, because I don't know how it's going to turn out, and I like having that freedom. So let's add a little bit of violet into the splatters, maybe pick up a few more, and then I'm going to have to dry, dry him before we um, put in his face and his beak. So, so I think I'll go off camera and just soften that edge. Yeah, you'll need at least one area that's got some clean water when you do these little guys. So, let's maybe make a little shadow underneath him. So it kind of anchors him down. on the ground. This gives him a little bit better stability. So I'm going to go off camera and dry him and then we'll be back. Well he's all nice and dry and I kind of like the way he looks. I'm going to go in with my indigo. So we've used indigo mainly for the, the really dark dark areas and we're going to put in a little bit of this on his beak. It's the one mark that is so dark on their face and very distinct. So that makes him a flamingo or her a flamingo. And then I'm going to go in and take a little bit of the same indigo and make a dot for the eye. And it's just this area right in here, up in this area right here. They have very small eyes. Now, while I've still got my colors out and they're wet, I'm going to go in and just add a few harder edges, maybe up in here, just to make it a little darker. Come back in with a soft brush, soften the edge a little bit, maybe define, just wet some water, give him some darker colors down here. Make that a little darker so when he turns that corner, he's a little darker. And maybe, now let's go back in with a little bit of white. Well, let's, before we do that, let's make his legs a little bit darker up here at the top because they would be, because he's being shadowed by his, by his um, body. A little bit of violet, maybe. Now I'm going to come back in with a little bit of the white gouache and maybe add a little highlight up here. So just a little bit lighter. Just go over that pink. Just gives him a little lighter top and maybe a little bit lighter in here. Just to add some more dimension. I love the way that ran. You never know about gouache, what it'll do for you. And maybe a little bit of that in here. Because it's going to dry also a lot lighter. 
And I think I may add a little more dark down in here just to anchor him because the only real dark is the beak. And this will balance that dark a little bit if I put a little bit of color in there. And that's pretty strong. Let's go back in and maybe add a little bit of gray. Some of my gray mixture. To soften that down a little bit. Just gives him a little place to stand. So I'm going to call him finished too.